Okay, so we are here for opening night, and uh, what a great night it's going to be. The yard goats have been on the field warming up. It looks like they're just starting to go in. And so fans are going to be here uh, 6 p.m. Those gates are going to open and they're going to start coming in. It's not just about baseball here, though, with the Hartford Yard Goats. We know that the Yard Goats have been a really incredible community partner and the amount of outreach that they do uh, with the city of, in, of Hartford and just, you know, the youth in the surrounding areas is really key and an integral part of what the Yard Goats do. That's what I was just learning from Tiffany Young. Uh, she is the Yard Goats Foundation Executive Director, and she shows joins me right now to talk about all the great and important things that you all are bringing to Hartford. Thanks for joining me. Oh, thank you for having me. Okay, so why community outreach? Why is that important here um, with the Yard Goats? Because it's absolutely essential and it truly is the foundation uh, of the organization. I always say that whether you're talking about success of an organization or even personal success in my position, it's always about the community and the partnerships with the community. None of this is really possible unless we have the community involved. It really takes a team beyond the team internally. And there's so many creative things that you all have put in place, programs to get kids and even adults involved in what's going on uh, in, in the community, not just here at the ballpark, but it, you know, using this as a forum to bring people in. Uh, talk about some of the programs that you have in place. Yeah, so one of the things that's key, um, definitely with the foundation, is thinking outside of the box. I like to say thinking outside of baseball. And so we've created some pretty amazing programs um, along the years. And these are youth programs that are completely sponsored, meaning that they're completely free for our young people um, to take part in from culinary arts programs where we partner with local restaurants in the community and chefs who come in on these premises in the ballpark right in our commercial kitchen and teach young people each week how to cook. Um, and talk about nutritious meals, but also talk about their path and their journey. Many of these chefs and restaurant owners are sometimes folks who live right here in the community or who grew up in the community. And they're able to talk back to these kids and tell them how they did it and look at their journey and also give them different pathways and outlooks um, of the future. We have our theater arts program. We partner with Hartford Stage just down the street. Um, and we teach kids about theater and using their voice through performance. We have hip hop dance, we have our Yargos dance team who's actually performing this evening. It's exciting. Yes, our Young Ambassadors program, which is our youth leadership program made of, of high school students. And they'll also be here tonight. Um, they've taken an entrepreneurial course and workshops and they've designed some pretty amazing t-shirts and sweatshirts that they'll be selling right at the front gates today, really exercising those entrepreneurial skills and sales skills as well. And I know that you all were talking about this uh, event that's happening in June, leveling the playing field where adults are going to be coming in. It's it's a three-day event. We Absolutely. We unfortunately just ran out of time here, but what Tiffany just described is half <laughs> of the work that she's been doing. She's been here since 2015, I think, so it's really impressive, um, and I'm glad we got to talk about it. Tiffany Young, thank you very much. Enjoy thank tonight. You.